monday.com versus slack hi guys welcome back to the imminent hd channel today i'm comparing monday.com with slack and we'll figure out how these platforms actually work i will be showing you around different features and their pricing as well so let's get started up first we have monday.com this is what monday.com looks like it is an amazing project management software same as slack slack is also a project management software but a little different from monday.com and when i say a little different from monday.com is that when it comes to messaging slack is kind of a messaging project management software it also has a lot of different options as well but when we compare it to monday.com uh, we will see how they actually work what i will show you around that you know how different workspaces how you can add different items into monday.com and when it comes to slack how you can actually add different channels on slack as well so before we you know compare monday.com and slack let's just go to their pricing first and figure out that which one is actually cheaper than the other so first we have monday.com you can see the pricing of monday.com right here now you can see that there is a free plan which is called the individual plan which is for zero dollars and it has up to two seats like two people can work on this for individuals looking to keep track for their work and when it comes to the individual plan you can see unlimited board unlimited documents 200 and plus templates not bad over 20 column types up to two team member ios and android apps so that's pretty good for zero dollars like we're spending nothing and we're getting so much right then there is a basic plan which is eight dollars and a seat per month and a total will be 24 dollars manage all your teamwork in one place then you get 5 gb of file storage which is good create a dash based on one board so that's good for eight dollars then there is 10 standard plan which is ten dollars then there is pro plan which is sixteen dollar and enterprise where you can actually you know customize your features so when it comes to the pro plan which is sixteen dollar you can see all of these different options for example private boards chart view time tracking formula column tendency column integrations automations create a dashboard that combines up to 10 boards so that's pretty amazing for sixteen dollars so this is monday.com let's go to slack and check out the pricing for slack now slack has three plans one is pro business plus and then there is enterprise grid now the pro plan is 6.67 usd and per person per month while built yearly it will be eight dollars per person uh, if we talk about the features in the pro plan that are unlimited messages unlimited apps and group video calls create audio late white voice online conversations so that's pretty good business plus and when it comes to business plus it is 12.50 usd uh 12 features 99.99 percent guaranteed uptime sla then there is data experts for all messages so that's pretty good for 12 dollars. and when it comes to enterprise grade unlimited workspace port, port data and designed customers so that's pretty good when we talk about the pricing i would say both of them are not that expensive you can you can see that they're very very affordable and the features they both are offering are pretty good for maybe twelve dollars you can see the business is twelve and here it's like sixteen dollars so that's like less than twenty dollars per month so that's pretty pretty amazing both of these software are actually providing you very amazing features in less pricing so yeah that's pretty good so let's go to monday.com and let me show you around monday.com first and then we'll go to slack when we talk about the messaging on slack you will see all of these messaging options where i will actually show you how to do the messaging first let's go to monday.com you can see this is where the workspaces are main workspace if i have any other workspace for example i have another workspace which is called imminent hd and what i can do is i can go to imminent hd and i can go to tutorial videos uh, the board that i just created you 
you can actually create these different boards on monday.com you have your workspace and then in that workspace you have all of these different boards so this is one of the boards on my workspace and in any of these boards i can actually add all of these different options all of these different tasks so for example if i go to add item right here i could just simply go ahead and add you can see right here this is where the item has been added if i want to check their progress i will simply click on that if i want to add any label i will click right here and add a label into it if i want to add any timeline i will simply add here if i have any priority i will click on the priority these are different tasks and customized tab that came with the template that i used so if i want to delete any of these i will simply click right here click on delete and it will be deleted so you can see right here there are different views that we get on monday.com for example if we want a you know chart view if we want this kind of view we can actually do that as well you can get the table view as well if you want to add any new view for example you want to check out the chat views then you can just go ahead and click on that and it will be added and you can just simply you know go ahead and check out your progress in this form as well so this is how you know or you can add different tasks on monday.com so the good thing about monday.com is that it's a project management software right it helps you get organized and it helps you do the customization as much as possible you can actually you know create this amazing workspace of your own on your requirements you can add whatever you want to the views you want to the boards the list so that's pretty amazing about monday.com you can see this is a chart view now if you like the chart view you can just go, go ahead and do that as well and if you want to check any other view you can do that so let's go to slack now so when we come to slack you will definitely see a difference between both of these project management softwares monday.com is more about you know you assign this task to somebody you have created this task but when it comes to slack it's about managing that task if i'm making sense right for example let's go to the main table and let me show you how you can actually you know integrate slack into monday.com as well there is an option to integrate your slack into monday.com because these two can work together as well so what happens is for example this is a video right this is my new task and i assigned it to a person in my team now i will go to slag and i can go to any of these channels i will go to that person and i'll be like you know what on monday.com this is your task it needs to be done give me your progress on slack or on monday.com so you can see this is how these two softwares can actually work hand in hand because you know they help you organize your tasks and that's what we need to do so on slack you can see there are different channels i will click on add channel create new channel and i will name add any description if i want to and i will simply click on create once i click on create another channel has been created when a channel is created then you have to add people into it so i will just simply add an email address for team member and i will simply click on invite and add so all of these channels have different spaces for example this is your general one so i can add different people right right here and i can talk to them all you have to do is you simply type in your message just like you know for messaging and for chatting you can actually do video calls as well so you can see my channel has different these different options i can do that then there's an, a direct message option where i can contact these people directly if i want to add any teammate i will simply click on add and add that team member right here so you can see right here that when it comes to sending messages it's not as a simple messages you can actually you know go ahead and attach any documents you can add videos any audios if you want to in slack as well so it actually you know helps you get your things done that's the main thing so you can see there's an option of tools workflow builder analytics so in order to create a new workspace you will just simply you know add all of this information again and your workspace will be created i have showed you around monday.com and slack as well now you have an idea how these platforms actually work and how different these platforms actually are let me take you to uh, right here 
to a website and I'm just going to, you know, give you an overview of these platforms so you can get an idea of what different features one platform has and the other does not and what are the different pros and cons to these. So you can see right here when it comes to Slack, Slack is good for small business as well, for small workspace as well. But when it comes to Monday.com, it is good for medium and large. Like if you have a big company, you have more than 10 people, more than like maybe 50 people, you will use Monday.com. But when it comes to Slack, even if you're like two people, Slack is good for you. So it's it's good for small businesses as well so when it comes to customer service monday.com is a little better than slack when we talk about the training in person live online webinars on monday.com webinars are also available on slack webinars are not available and when it comes to online training and other stuff yes it's available on slack but also available on monday.com as well so another difference between Slack and Monday.com is the difference that I'm talking about, you know, uh, that these platforms are different. Uh, the organization uh, you do on Slack is in the form of chat. So that could be a good thing for some people. If But when it comes to, you know, you're looking for the charts and boards and stuff like that, then you'll have to go to monday.com because monday.com has the these, you know, boards and charts and everything that I showed you. So, but on Slack, it's not like that. It's different. It, the All the organization is taking place in the form of chat. So that's a big difference between Slack and monday.com. And when it comes to pricing, we actually, you know, checked out both of these platforms are not that expensive pretty good to use and when it comes to you know the inbox option is also available on monday.com so you can do the messaging here as well you can contact you have the email addresses but when it comes to slack slack is i told you it's it's the messaging but when it comes to you know other forms as well you can actually you know integrate into slack as well you can actually add a lot of integrations into slack as well so when it comes to the integrations yes you can add a lot of things into monday.com you can add a lot of things into the slack as well so when it comes to the customization we just saw that on monday.com you can actually you know customize your profile you can customize your boards you have these different colors in order to make it more distinguishable it makes it more colorful and you know when it comes to the board and chart views you know it does make it look good if you like these kind of views and i think monday.com is a good option for you and you know different colors are available you can customize the boards you can customize all of the stuff and when it comes to slack as well it's the same thing you can actually you know customize slack as well so yeah once you customize your slack as well it's pretty good to go so yeah guys this is the comparison between monday.com and slack i showed you around both of these platforms to just give you an idea that how these platforms actually work and while using monday.com how you can you know integrate slack as well and what are the difference if you're using slack if you're using monday.com what is the pricing and i hope that i was a big help to you and now you will be able to figure out that which one is a better platform for you to use and for me i think both of these platforms are actually pretty good and yeah make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel